<laughs> I did it. Hey everybody, Dorian here. And don't mind me, I'm just sitting here, chucking some cheese balls into my mouth, trying to see if I can catch them. Ah, I missed that one, but it's going in anyways. I left them sitting out for a day, and they ended up going a little bit still, but they're still good enough to eat, so I'm mowing them down while I still can. <laughs> um, I hope you all had a good week. Um, and welcome to my weekly vlog, where I basically talk about myself for about 10 minutes, and you guys listen and enjoy, or you leave and don't enjoy. I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, this week was pretty fun. I'm going to start at actually at Tayo, because even though I did a vlog for Tayo last week, um, I didn't really go into super detail in that, because obviously it was just a video of me getting really drunk. Tayo was really cool. I've gone to Tayo, you know, since 2010, I think. I think that was the first, the first Tayo. No, 2011. I went to, started going to Tayo in 2011, so this is my sixth Tayo. And like always, since Mike took over, it has been amazing. Um, he does an amazing job with this convention. Um, to be completely honest, it's it, it went from one of my least favorite cons. Like I would go to Tile because it was close, and I didn't have to pay for a hotel room. And I was like, okay, whatever, I'm just gonna go to Tile. And then when he took over and moved it to the Mesa Convention Center and everything like that, like it just got so much better. Like I look forward to Tile now. I actually genuinely, I'm like, cool, Tile's coming up. I'm gonna have fun. And you know, like we got a hotel room this time, so we could stay on the con. Like I live probably 10 minutes from the convention center, and I I paid. I mean, I personally paid for pretty much the whole hotel, but um, for just to be there because it made it more, you know, immersive. But I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't such a good con. So, I mean, kudos to him for that because he's doing amazing things to that con. I met a lot of people this con. I met, I haven't met this many new people at a con in years, to be completely honest. Um, and it was great. It, it's not a lot of people, you know, like I, I talk to on a regular basis or really since, but um, but I know them. And if I run into them, I can talk to them and I, you know, interact on social media. That's the extent of my friendship to people right now, to be completely honest. Not by choice. I mean, a little bit by choice, but just out of sheer like how busy I am, like the extent of my friendship to people is basically so some social media or if they live here. <laughs> I don't even see my roommates that much anymore. As I'm just always in here recording or at work. Which brings me to State Farm, right? So I am about to go in nesting on Tuesday, which is the last stretch of my training. And basically I'm gonna what it is is I'm gonna be answering calls, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be working, but with the trainer behind me making sure I'm not fucking up, right? Um, for a month. And then I get my normal schedule, which will be so nice because I'll be able to like I'll I'll work less hours all on the weekend so weekdays will be easy for me and and it's just gonna be so much better it's gonna be so much better for youtube it's gonna be so much better for my life in general and i was really nervous to be honest i was really really nervous i don't know i mean i'm sure a lot of you have you know started new jobs before and you go in and you're always like really nervous and for me this is like my first like real like corporate job right and i'm super nervous because i'm like am i gonna fuck up like what am i gonna like there's a lot to it it's it's 14 weeks of training like it's a lot of information i had to i had to get licensed by the state and all this crap like there's a lot of information up here and i don't even know what's up there to be completely honest anymore but i was really nervous i've been really nervous because i'm like okay am i even gonna be able to do this fucking job and we have been doing simulated calls with uh, the dallas location for with the dallas hub for like a week now and it's getting to the point where i'm like all right dude like i can do this job just get me the fuck on the floor get me out of this goddamn room but i am a little sad because i really like my trainers i really like my trainers and i know i'm probably not going to see them much after after i'm out of training and it's kind of sad because like i actually get along with them real well but like we're both we're all very introverted so um I know what to expect, especially with myself when it comes to meeting new people. I'm like, okay, is this a person I'm going to talk to on a regular basis? Or is this a person that, like, you know, like, I'll talk to and I'll hang out with, but, you know, in a normal amount, right? That's going to be sad, but it, it is what it is. I'll meet new people at the job. Um, YouTube. I'm really loving what's going on with this channel. I'm doing a lot more Let's Plays than I did last month. And I'm enjoying it because I'm playing games I love to play. That's what I've always done, right? I don't play games that I think are stupid. I've tried, and I just can't. You know, I tried playing, um, what do I got on here? I tried playing The Bug Butcher, 
and it's a fun game. Don't get me wrong, but it's not something I can I can I can record. I don't have it doesn't fit my personality. I'm forcing so much stuff when I play try to play games like that, though those silly arcade type games, and I like them, but they just don't fit my personality. So I've been I've been sticking a lot more to my 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 preference when it comes to games. That's why I'm playing Layers of Fear, uh, Outlast. Uh, I you know I've done stuff like Astray. I've done stuff The Park. Uh, um. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter loved that game. The extent of like other stuff to me is like Astroneer, which is hard for me to record because um it's just not something I'm used to doing, like that style of game. Um, but I really love the game, so I'm gonna play it. And actually there's gonna be one coming out right after this vlog, so get ready for that. But I'm really enjoying what's going on with the channel. Not just because I have actual viewers and a couple of actual fans, which warms my heart it's 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 heartwarming and i love it and i'm really excited for this year i mean we're two weeks in and i feel more accomplished with this channel than i have in the last two years that i've been doing this i feel so much better about this channel right now than i ever have because i am i'm here every day i'm here and it's not hard I mean, it is hard because, you know, it, it's time consuming and, and it tires me out. But it's not hard because I feel more alive when I'm doing this than anything else. I do. It's so rewarding. It's just one of those things that when you do it, you feel, I feel alive, you know, like I just feel good. Um, so it's not hard to do. And the fact that, you know, there's even some traction beginning to form gives me so much. It gives me so much hope because it, it's reassurement that I, I can do this thing that I love and I'm going to do anyways but the fact that there's other people there joining me in this journey just it, it's kind of like a quest right like you see like animes or movies and stuff like that like how depressing would Lord of the Rings have been if it was just Frodo walking by himself to fucking Mount Doom that would have been depressing as shit but he had you know all these people arguing with themselves right alongside <laughs> no you guys are great but um thank you just thank you. And this vlog isn't, I don't have anything to rant about because to be completely honest, my whole schedule is flip turned because now I'm working weekends, starting to work weekends. And I forgot today was Sunday. I, I still, I feel like today's Saturday because today's technically my Saturday. Yesterday was my Friday because um, tomorrow I have off as well. And then I start on Tuesday. So I forgot I was supposed to do a vlog today and I did not plan anything. I mean, most of the time I just sit down and I ramble what's in my head, um, but I've been trying to be, at least have one topic to talk about at the end where I can rant about something, um, and I, I have no idea. Actually, I mentioned this in my last weekly vlog, so Vegeta, right? You see this little fucking Vegeta right here. What the fuck, Akira? What the fuck? Why can't he kill Frieza, hmm? Not only in Resurrection of F did you completely bone him, but then when you redid it in Super, you decided... Let's change a bunch of other shit, but we'll still have Vegeta not kill Frieza. We'll put Ginyu in the fucking series. We'll put bring Ginyu back for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. But God forbid Vegeta kills Frieza, right? God forbid. God forbid he can redeem himself. Just one time. Just one time. I know you hate him, but just fucking come on. Give him something. Let him kill Cell or something. Let him kill someone, please. He deserves it at this point. He's not a dick bag anymore. I mean, he's still a little bit of a dick bag, but a heartwarming dick bag. So, come on, Kira. Get with it. <sighs> anyways. Anyways. Been watching Series of Unfortunate Events. It's a great series. Go watch it. They change a couple things, and I'm not sure how I feel about them yet, but we'll see by the end of the series. Um, started taking some meds because apparently my thyroid healed itself because I'm Wolverine, but now I'm taking multivitamins for, I don't, I don't know why, to be completely honest, but I guess I'm doing it. And cheese balls. So y'all have a good weekend. Um, if you enjoy the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all in my next video. Later. Mm, yummy. <laughs>